I'm Sam, and this is Amazing Travels. Hey guys, welcome back to my series of what to do in LA for free. People flock to Southern California for its warm weather. For many, LA is the perfect combination of beach and mountains. And LA County and its coastline has a lot to offer. In this guide, I'm going to tell you about the best places to hike, chill, and soak up some culture. Kick off your tour of the coastline and beach cities by taking a drive up the Pacific Coast Highway, also known as the PCH or the 101, to Los Leones Canyon Trailhead. This is arguably one of the most picturesque trails in LA. Parking is free at the trailhead, but this is a very popular hike among visitors and locals. So you may have to walk a bit just to make it to the entrance. What I love about this hike is as you get higher, the views of the Pacific Ocean become more and more spectacular. About a mile up after weaving through lush vegetation, you make it to a plateau where you overlook the Pacific Palisades and Santa Monica. On a very clear day, you can see Catalina Island. Such a nice view. If you're feeling adventurous and have about three hours to burn, continue hiking to Parker Mesa Overlook. This is an out and back trail that is just over seven miles. After the hike, take refuge in the nearby Getty Villa. The museum was modeled on a Roman villa and its architecture is extremely apparent and gorgeous. Inside, you'll find Greek and Roman art on display. For me, the best parts of the Getty Villa are its scenic outdoor gardens. The outer peristyle is tranquil and beautiful, and the herb garden draws you in with the smell of herbs and fruit trees. Plus, did I mention this villa overlooks the ocean? So nice. Admission is free, but on-site parking is pretty pricey at 20 bucks. The cool thing is if you pay a visit to the Getty Center on the same day, you only have to pay one parking fee, two art museums, and one price to park. Please note, you do need to reserve your time to entry to either of the museums online before you visit. We've been staring at the ocean all day. It's time to hit the beach, am I right? Since you're close by, go to Will Rogers State Beach. What's great about this beach is it isn't as busy as neighboring beaches in Malibu and Santa Monica, but has all the same sand and ocean you need for a beach day. Will Rogers State Beach is also where the Strand Bike Path begins. This path is 22 miles long one way, extending all the way down to Torrance. Riders who make the journey will travel through all of the South Bay beach communities and two harbors. This includes Venice, Santa Monica, Manhattan, and more. Definitely a workout considering it's 44 miles round trip, but the views are unbeatable. Plus, you can just decide to do a portion of it. If you prefer to walk to soak up the scenery, head to Palisades Park. It's basically an elevated park that juts out from beyond the coastline. Full of greenery and coastal views, the Linear Park is just over a mile and a half long and the perfect place to walk down towards Santa Monica Beach. Home to more waves and sand, of course, but most famously, the Santa Monica Pier. The red and yellow Ferris wheel is a city icon, but there's more to it. The pier has a full service amusement park, an arcade, plenty of restaurants, bars, and souvenir shops, and is the perfect spot to catch street performers or to people watch. If you like to shop, while you're in Santa Monica, make sure you go to 3rd Street Promenade, the pedestrian mall with many retail shops and food options. For a quintessential LA experience, rent a bike and ride from Santa Monica to Venice Beach. The Venice boardwalk is lined with your typical beach town surf shops and restaurants and is great for people watching. The real action though is at the Venice Beach Skate Park. At any given time, you'll be able to watch skateboarders do tricks. I'd for sure eat it, so I'll leave that to them. If you haven't managed to start your gym routine again, get inspired at Muscle Beach. It's where Arnold Schwarzenegger used to train. Get your bodybuilding on. Just kidding, you need a membership to work out there. Want a taste of Italy without leaving Southern California? You can have it by walking along the waterways of the Venice Canals. The man-made canals were created in 1905 and recreate the appearance of Venice, Italy. Take your time weaving in and out of the sidewalks, crossing the bridges, and checking out the cool homes surrounding them. Santa Monica and Venice are a great time, but if you want a more local vibe, you should definitely hit up Manhattan or Hermosa Beach. Manhattan Beach Pier is over 900 feet long, and at the end of it, there's a building that houses the aquarium. Enjoy the views out to the Pacific or looking back towards the shoreline. 
There is a boardwalk that runs parallel to the ocean where you can scope out extremely nice homes and even make your way to Hermosa Beach. From pier to pier, it's just under a two mile walk. Hermosa Beach gives me a more beach town feel compared to Manhattan. It has more bars and restaurants right on the boardwalk. Plus, like most beaches along this beautiful coast, it's a perfect place to soak up the sun. There you go, your LA coast and beach cities itinerary. Coming up on May 9th, don't miss the final video of this series where I cover what to do for free on the west side, east LA, south LA, and the valley. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments section, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more travel guides. Thanks so much for watching. It was awesome having you guys here. Catch me next week. And now get out of here and go explore.